I have my sweet baby. So, Auntie got a couple minutes here, and I want to spit some knowledge to some of my sweet babies out there that inbox me and ask me questions and for advice and stuff. And you may be asking me something somebody else wants to answer to. Some of them have asked me, how is it that I got to the place where I am now? How is it that I talk about, you know, where I used to be and how I'm where I'm at now? Okay, so let me just give y'all the real fast version of it. Back in 2018, I had uh a surgery i had um let me back up 2017 i broke my ankle 2017 towards the end of 2017 i took really sick i had a cyst that burst into my stomach and when that cyst burst in my stomach it became septic and i almost died i was in the hospital 31 days after that i in december of that year i ended up having a hysterectomy in the process of all of that, I had a really good job, but and I had good insurance, but I had used almost a year's worth of FM, FMLA, long-term, short-term disability, whatever benefits I had. By the time it was all said and done, in a year's time, they had paid out $1.5 million in medical bills for me, okay? I was a liability. So I came back to work, still not well from my uh, from my hysterectomy. When I got back to work, I only stayed at work maybe about two, three months before they found a reason that all of a sudden my production wasn't good and they needed to let me go. Okay. That started the beginning of the end for me. So the place that I was living in at that time, I couldn't afford to stay in it. So I went and stayed with someone who I thought was a friend. When I went and go stayed with them, this person was absolutely horrible. Absolutely, positively horrible. The worst person ever. So bad, just to, to give you how bad it was, we were friends and I had known her for years. She was one of the first people that I met when I moved here to Florida. But you never learn a person until you actually live with them. And when I moved in with her, she started doing shit that was just unimaginable. At one, she made me send my daughter somewhere else back to Maryland to stay with her dad at the time because she couldn't stay there. So that in itself, when a person doesn't accept your child, they don't accept you. And I didn't have a choice because I had absolutely nowhere else to go. So I I sent my daughter back to Maryland where her husband, mm, my ex-husband, to stay for a couple of months. That right there was the end of the friendship for me. And I already knew that there was never going to be a good relationship between her and I again. Because when a person makes you choose over them, over your child, uh, uh and I'll elaborate more on that. So anyway, I stayed there with the things started getting really bad. I woke up one morning, went to cook some food. The stove wasn't working. She unplugged the stove so I couldn't cook. A couple of days later, she threw the wash machine away so I couldn't wash my clothes. Next thing I know, she was taking my food out the refrigerator, telling me to go and put my food in the refrigerator at the neighbor's house and shit like that. Stay tuned for part two.